I was completely paralyzed at age two. It was 1949 in the segregated South and people like me didn't receive adequate health care from white hospitals. We were usually seen in the basements, if we were seen at all. Luckily, my mother took me to the Infantile Paralysis Center at John A. Andrew Memorial Hospital on Tuskegee Institute's college campus. It was one of the only places where black polio patients like me could receive care. And it wasn't just satisfactory care, no, we were treated with dignity. The halls bustled with black nurses, with treatment provided by black doctors. We ate warm and hearty meals, slept in soft beds, and swam in a treatment pool. Luxuries many people couldn't afford back then. I spent the better part of a decade being treated there, and thanks to my caretakers, I now walk the halls of an historic courthouse in Montgomery, Alabama, a courthouse that played a significant role in the Civil Rights Movement. Both the Infantile Paralysis Center and this courthouse have taught me that all people should be treated with dignity and respect. My name is Myron Thompson. I am a United States District Judge and I am a polio survivor.